আসসালামু আলাইকুম ও রহমতুল্লাহি অবরকাতুহু ইন্না আলহামদুলিল্লাহ ওয়াসসালাতু ওয়াসসালামু আলা রাসূলিল্লাহ আম্মা বাদ বিসমিল্লাহির রহমানির রহিম দিস ইজ মোহাম্মদ কামরুল হোসেন ডিপার্টমেন্ট অফ বিজনেস অ্যাডমিনিস্ট্রেশন মেট্রোপলিটন ইউনিভার্সিটি সিলেট ওয়েলকাম টু মাই ভার্চুয়াল ক্লাসরুম এম কে এ ক্লাস রুম নাও লেট স্টার্ট টু ডেজ ভিডিও টিউটোরিয়াল টুডে উই উইল ট্রাই টু ডিসকাস অবজেকটিভস অফ ইনভেস্টমেন্ট An investor has various alternative avenues of investment for his savings to follow so savings kept as cash are barren and do not earn anything hence savings are invested in assets depending on their risks and return characteristics the objective of the investor is to minimize the risks involved in investment and maximize the return from the investment so it is clear that objective of investment is earn profit earn profit we minimize his risk of portfolio that is the objectives of investment our savings kept as cash are not only barren because they do not earn anything but also losses its value to the extent of rise in prices so here has a Uh, good things uh, you have to uh, maintain or you have to remember that if we do not invest our fund that will not earn anything if you have 100 taka in your pocket after one year it is 100 taka that is not earn anything but if this 100 taka if we invest or um, uh, you put in your savings account after one year it will uh, generate something 105 or 110 taka that is the matter but if you do not invest you put in your pocket now you are purchasing 100 taka in several products but after one year you will not purchase that products with 100 taka because rise of prices that's why you are not earning more things does rise in prices of inflation erodes the value of money that means if the price increases the value of money decreases savings are invested to provide a hedge or protection against inflation so savings are invested to provide a hedge of protection your fund so we will discuss what is hedge in later part Uh, as a student of finance you have to have a clear cut concept about the haze so that is a very good term usually use in finance so savings are invested to provide haze or protection against inflation so if we invest uh, this fund it will generate more fund in future and that will cover your purchasing power that is why it is hedge if the investment cannot earn as much 
as the rise in prices the real rate of return would be negative thus inflation is at an average annual rate of 10% or then the return from an investment should be above the 10% to the in uh, induce savings to follow into investment so here as uh, said that average uh, annual rate of uh, inflation is a uh, 10% or 5% but whenever you uh, invest your fund that uh, should be more than 10% or 5% to cover that losses by increasing prices thus the objectives of an in investor can be stated as maximization of return minimization of risks haze against inflation these are the three objectives of investment or three objectives of investor now we will uh, we have said that we will try to discuss what is hedge now uh, we are going to see hedge a hedge is an investment that is made with the intention of reducing the risks of adverse price movements in an asset so uh, very carefully you have to listen that a hedge is an investment so we are uh, talking about the uh, sometimes we are uh, you have heard the hedge finance so it is the investment is made with the intention of reducing risks intention of reducing risks what type of risks risks of adverse price movements that means inflation of an asset normally a hedge consists of taking an offsetting position in a related security so that means uh, so in future uh, you may face some losses then you have to take some protection uh, of that losses to cover that losses that is the his finance or hedge now we will see how it is work how his works now we will see how his work his is analogous to taking out an insurance policy that is it is as like the insurance policy if you own a home in a flood prone area you will want to protect that asset from the risks of flooding to has it in the other words by taking out flood insurance in this example you cannot prevent a flood but you can work ahead of time to mitigate the dangers of in the event that a flood did occur so i think it is clear to you uh, how his work it is uh, work like as a insurance policy you know that what is insurance policy so insurance policy uh, actually create uh, uh insurance uh, policy create for the prevent the loss so his is like the insurance policy so here is an example you you have purchased a home in a flood area flood prone area so you have to protect your property then you are going to purchase the flood insurance then it will cover your financial loss in future if flood occurs in your property so that is the his his is protect your financial losses from the uh, price movements thank you very much this all about today stay home stay safe try to maintain a safe social distance 
try to wash your hands frequently in a day subhanaka allahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaika assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh